Hey YouTube and all my boondocking buddies, welcome back to Kathy's Camper Life. Hope everybody's doing great today. It's great to do a video to see you guys and um, welcome back to my channel. So I think last time we left off packing up out of Quartzsite, Arizona, just to let you know, you guys know where I was in that those last videos with the coffee and the walk I was at high jolly high jolly my mama calls it holly jolly but it is not holly jolly <laughs> it's high jolly and uh, I've been there a few times and usually it's been just way too crowded but I came at a really great time and I really thoroughly enjoyed my stay there and uh, highly recommend it uh, so, then I went on to Wickenburg, Wickenburg, Arizona. So Wickenburg is the dude ranch capital of Arizona. It has a big nice country club. I went up Vulture Peak Road. There's two BLM lands out there, up there, excuse me. One you have to have a permit for. Yeah, I'm just not going to do that. And the other one I, I went to, and I think it's called, I think it's called Box Wash Canyon, if I'm not mistaken. And um, I just could not get any bars out there. And as you guys know, I'm a digital nomad, and I was working the next day. So, uh, but my experience in Wickenburg, so no cell signal at the BLM land there. So... I uh, did my laundry there, and I had a nice carne gasada burrito and a Fanta orange while I was doing my laundry. It was a nice cool day, so the dogs were in the van comfortably. Getting a spot with shade is key. And uh, just had a day of uh, little grocery shopping, laundry, and they had a Safeway there. So, and I'm telling you, there wasn't one van, one RV in that parking lot. There are signs everywhere, no overnight parking. But I was really tired, and I was willing to take that risk. I said, come knock on the door. And uh, I didn't get a knock, so that was awesome. So I woke up, Wickenburg. This is what I thought about Wickenburg. Wickenburg. Uh, very pricey, very pricey, not boondocking friendly. As far as businesses and things like that, there is BLM land there. Uh, it was very warm, very warm. I mean, eight, at noon, I was hot and uncomfortable. So, what do we do? We go north. So, we spent the night. Safeway made it out of there okay. <coughs> Pardon me. Trucked it north. So I am at about. <coughs> Pardon me. Sorry. Live video. I am about less than 100 miles from Flagstaff, Arizona. Elevation over 3,000 feet. And this is the weather that we're talking about. This is the weather that we seek out. The, the, they, I think there's a club called the 70s club that you know we seek out the weather and uh, and uh, you know the weather makes the experience when you're boondocking of course uh, it just makes experience so so we're doing a little black top boondocking today and I just have to give a shout out to where I am because I think this is the best truck stop I've ever been. If you look behind me at my beautiful gorgeous view, which you know we're going to do the 360, I am at a truck stop. So let's check it out. So we're going to do a 360. And on the 360 I want you guys just to take note of where I'm parked, how I'm parked, you gotta park out of the way, you gotta park on a corner if you can, so nobody can see 
you know, your doors opened and what you put in front of the van. So, truck stop. Giving a shout out to this awesome truck stop in Arizona. I've spent two nights here and it is awesome. 360, woo! Here we go. There's my van, you see I'm on the corner. There's a Dollar General right there. You just walk over there. But if you see how I am parked, that is my truck stop view. That's what I'm talking about. You never know. Never count a truck stop out. Circle the parking lot. Check it out. So this one is even more special because right across the way it has a little motel has an RV park has a 50s diner and for you folks that like to do a little sipping it has a it's called the backseat bar so soup what's great about another thing that's great about these truck stops are I wake up in the morning I don't have to, I go inside, the coffee's already made. At night, if I'm getting hungry, I go walk right across there. Somebody's cooking my dinner. I love it. No dishes, no setting up camp. You know, just a little break. Uh, you know, we need a little variety, variety, variety. So I'm gonna take you out here and let's watch this of these trucks. As you can see, huge parking lot. Super cool place. Yeah, like I don't know why I'm showing you a picture of my face, sorry. This is cute. It says Trucker's Footpath, Bar and Grill, Motel, Showers, Pilot Truck Stop, Showers, $13. That's right, $13. So, check this out. I mean, it's an awesome little. RV. Look at the view these people have. And I got the same view, the same amenities. Go into the restaurant. Nice fresh coffee in the morning. There's also a pilot rewards program. So, uh, Every time, like every six coffee is free or something, and then there's a uh, kind of free stuff you can get all the time. So, you know, if you do some blacktop boondocking, like I, I, I like it, you know, it's just a break from, you know, when you're setting up camp and stuff, it's work. So, it's just a little break. Let somebody else do the work. Our friendly truckers say waving hi. Truckers are the friendliest people. 
They all wave inside. They all have dogs. They all come out with their dogs. So I'm going to give you a view from here where the van is. Look at that. That's just beautiful, isn't it? It's just beautiful. We're back. We're back at the van. So, like I said, we've been here for two days, having a little, a little, you know, just a little peace and just soaking in this view every day. I sit in my van right here, working on my computer. I'm at work today, and from here, this is the view. That's the view from Kathy's Cam for Life today. May the sun light up your days and the stars light up your nights. Until next time, you two, take care.